News. The Somali capital Mogadishu is in lockdown. With presidential elections taking place tomorrow, flights to the city have been suspended and a curfew is in place. 329 newly elected members of parliament will themselves pick the next president from more than 20 candidates. Authorities are concerned about the threat from the Islamist group Al-Shabaab. Ferdinando Mondi reports from Mogadishu. A city in lockdown. Somalia is not going to war. The country only wants to choose its next president. But Mogadishu is on high alert. We're now driving through the streets of Mogadishu, which are now in complete lockdown. Absolutely no civilian vehicles are allowed. The only ones currently moving belong to the security agencies and the military. And even for us who are well protected, we are not allowed to get out of the car and only take pictures. And we are being told that there is a valid security threat ahead of the elections. The election venue was moved from the police academy to the heavily fortified Mogadishu airport following rising threats of a security breach and corruption concerns. No flights will be allowed in or out of the airport on voting day. Somalia's electoral system is as tattered as its infrastructure. It has no voter register. 329 members of parliament will choose the next president, but now corruption allegations are threatening to derail the entire process. Independent international observers say MPs have been paid millions of dollars to influence their vote. More women will take part in voting this time, making up a quarter of the parliamentary votes. However, two women who earlier declared their intention to run for president, including the much profiled Fatma Dayeb, withdrew their candidacy. The biggest threat to the elections here in Somalia is insecurity. The country is sharply divided along clan lines, and worst of all, the threat from militant group Al Shabaab. The people of Somalia want a successful election, but remain very guarded in their optimism. This process, I'm happy when I know it's a successful and it's no war and it's no uh, bombs and it's no trouble. Uh, despite the question marks on the process, but we hope that this will be conducted in a, suc uh, in a successful way and in a, sp in a peaceful way. And whoever come out from this process, we are ready to support. I trust our, our parliament members will uh, take this into consideration. We are in a critical time, and now they need to seriously think about who they will elect. The Somali people hope that a successful election will lead to a universal election in 2020. But first, the country needs a president and a functioning government. Farina Nomondi, BBC News, Mogadishu.